Welcome to Taconica. Today we will learn about the local variable type inference. That is var keyword in Java. This feature was added in the Java 10 that is the latest release of Java. So what is this local variable type inference? Before that uh, we I'll just uh, speak about uh, some earlier type inference that Java compiler uh, for example I am declaring a list of integer and I'm declaring an array list if you see on the right hand side I have not mentioned anywhere that this is an array list of integer here the compiler will infer the type automatically similarly in many cases Java compiler has been using this uh, type inference but not like uh, how it is used in other languages like Scala, C Sharp or Win or we will just take a look at uh, the JavaScript uh, var keyword usage. I have just declared an HTML file and I am just declaring a var file str and I am initializing it to empty string then I am adding uh, some uh, text to that uh, uh, variable and I am adding that text here then again see here the demo is declared as a string variable but now I am assigning a, a integer variable to the demo still there is no error here and it is accepting that variable also I am again adding another string variable to the uh, demo variable and still there is no compilation error so here the var keyword means this is in javascript it can uh, take whatever value that is assigned to it I'll just run this HTML once. See here, I am getting this uh, uh, this Taconica 2018 March. That is from this uh, demo variable that I have created. See using this ID. So what I am going to say is that this feature that is present in Java JavaScript, this is not how it is implemented in Java. Java implements it in a different fashion. Actually, uh, it's just a compiler time, a compile time functionality, not like a runtime functionality. It will infer the data type if it is strictly defined on the right hand side. If uh, the compiler can infer strictly what variable it will be assigning to, then it will assign a, a data type to it. For example, I am declaring a string str and initializing it to hello world so here I know uh, this is a string and here I have given a uh, in double inverted comma a string of letters so uh, if I am removing the string and placing a var keyword here so now also the compiler is taking this keyword okay now I'm going to uh, the out folder to see the class file which is created I'm decompiling the class file I'm getting the opening the class here I can see instead of the keyword that I have declared here that is var it is converted to string itself so it is a compile time feature at compile time uh, Java will check which data type it is to be declared and uh, correspondingly, correspondingly convert uh, that so this uh, marks a change that uh, we have been studying Java as a strongly typed language but it is no more a strongly typed language we can uh, include these var keywords and dynamically assign the uh, data types to it I can assign a var uh, i is equal to 5 also you can declare a var listing is equal to new array list integer function. I can also add an iterator to this. Uh, I can add listing dot add of uh, five. I can add a listing dot add of Okay, uh, now I'm going to use, uh, uh, I can declare a stream uh, where 
stream is equal to list listing dot stream function I can declare an iterator is equal to listing dot iterator I can even use this in a for each loop for example I need to print uh, this statement I'm just going for a for each loop for our x in listing s out x we'll see what it's printing it gets printed that uh, array it is getting printed so we can use var here also so this is how we can use this here uh, again everything is in order i have declared the array list integer listing and then stream iterator class then in uh, while also i'm using internally uh, iterator class so this is how we can use this var now we can see where all we can't use this var keyword there are many declarations uh, we can use for a variable so we'll see where exactly we or what all syntax we cannot uh, use for this var keyword uh, i'll just go to another class file okay now see i am declaring int i is equal to 8 and j is equal to 5 okay it doesn't show any compile error so if I just change the same statement uh, to a var var uh, p is equal to 4 comma y is equal to 8 see it is showing a compile time error var is not allowed in a compound declaration I'll just write that down var is not allowed in a compound declaration also I'm going to declare a string uh, s equal to null so here also there is no compile time error we can initialize the string to null uh, the same thing if I try to do with the uh, string uh, sorry var object I am going to try uh, var str is equal to null now again I'm getting a compile time error cannot infer type variable initializer is null see uh, here uh, any object any type of object can be made as a null so uh, the compiler cannot infer the type of this variable from just the initialization of null compiler cannot infer the variable type from null also if i am declaring like int i this is fine i am telling the compiler sorry i is already defined int out so uh, here the compiler knows that out is an integer the same thing if i am doing for uh, another var here uh, the compiler cannot uh, find which data type it is because it is not initialized so this local variable type inference is only for local variables which are initialized now where cannot be used since the variable is not also for example I am writing a function uh, public void add function so here I am going to add to function uh, some code here I am going to add some function here so normally for adding I am taking two integer values int we can add two variables and write that uh, code here and return something uh, but the same code if I change to var sorry I typo see here uh, again the compile time error is there so in this place also we cannot initialize the 
one more case uh, where we cannot use the var keyword is in this one i am uh, declaring an interface uh, with uh, just one method uh, so that i can use the lambda expression here uh, i am using the tectonic others object uh, channel variable uh, and then i am declaring the uh, uh, single abstract method uh, using the lambda expression so here there is and if i go on and uh, run this class i'll get the output uh, so please subscribe to my channel uh, now if i change this uh, tectonic object to var here i'm getting an error because for uh, lambda expression declaration uh, it should be an implicit object so var cannot be used in this case also but uh, var can be used in an enhanced for each loop lambda expressions or a chained uh, uh, so strictly speaking uh, this var keyword uh, it's not actually a keyword that's the first thing it's just a reserve type name uh, so it cannot be used for declarations that lack initializers or uh, declare multiple variables or have an extra array dimension brackets or the reference variable being initialized are not allowed in all these criterions we cannot use this var keyword in Java. So that's it uh, for an introduction about the local variable type inference that is a var keyword in Java. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.